All right, hello and welcome to our Bite Size PD today on um, some tips for navigating the election season in your social studies classroom or um, just general classroom. The best way to strengthen our democracy is to teach it. The Utah State Legislature has defined civic and character education as Character education means reaffirming values and qualities of character, which promote an upright and desirable citizenry. Civic education means the cultivation of informed, responsible participation in political life by competent citizens committed to the fundamental values and principles of representative democracy in Utah and the United States. Okay, so we're going to be providing um, five key guidelines for you as you navigate teaching during the elections this year with your classes. We'll go into each of these in a little bit more detail here in a moment. Um, but for an overview, the first one would be connecting the elections to your state standards. The second one is be familiar with and follow both our study of controversial issues policy in Canyon School District and our general instructional materials policies. Um, third tip is being neutral. Fourth is teaching and modeling information, media, and news literacy skills. Um, one strategy we'll share is lateral reading. And finally, focus on the electoral processes, not current politics. Okay, so our the first one, um, is connecting your elections to your state standards. So regardless of what um, you're planning to do in terms of teaching elections in your classroom, it needs to be always anchored with our state standards. Um, for elementary, if you click on that first link, I've pulled out our social studies standards that align with teaching the electoral process for each grade level, kindergarten through fifth grade. So you'll have a quick way of checking to see um, which standards would be most appropriate to address. And then for middle school and high school, you'll wanna use your instructional guides um, to figure out which state standards are going to be the most appropriate for you. All right, so we really want you to be familiar with and follow two Canyon School District policies. The first one is one that you might not really be familiar with or maybe haven't looked at for a while, and it is the controversial issues policy. So, you know, theoretically, we don't want elections to be controversial, but some people might think that maybe talking about them, especially in our current political climate, might lend itself to potential controversy. So please look over the controversial issues policy. The main thing I want to highlight there is if you are planning on um, teaching or talking about elections, make sure you have let your principal know and make sure that they know your plan. And then the second, of course, is our instructional materials policy. So whatever resources you're going to use to support teaching about the election process, make sure that they satisfy our 13 criteria. All right. Um, the next tip, just being neutral. Uh, remember that you are the facilitator of your content. It is not your job to teach or tell students what to think. Uh, we'll want to remain kind of the guide in helping students come to under their own understandings rather than giving them um, more of your opinion. So if a student asks you who you're voting for, remember to stay neutral and respond with something like, it doesn't matter who I'm voting for. What matters is your content understanding of the election process. All right. Teach and model information, media, and news literacy skills. The strategy that we want to highlight is lateral reading. Lateral reading is a strategy for investigating who is behind an unfamiliar online source by leaving the source and opening browser tabs to search for more information about a source or topic in order to determine if information is credible. If you're unfamiliar with lateral reading or you would like more information and resources about that, we have linked um, the News Literacy Project and they have some great information about lateral reading. All right, focus on the electoral processes, not current politics. 
So just to review, remember to begin with your state standard or standards. Then use content vocabulary that's appropriate for your standard and grade level. And remember, according to the civic and character education law, civic education means the cultivation of informed, responsible participation in political life by competent citizens committed to the fundamental values and principles of representative democracy in Utah and the United States. So you can do this by focusing on the electoral process and not current politics. For example, how elections function at a local, state, and federal level. All right, if you would um, like further support in uh, teaching through the elect elections, please feel free to reach out to us directly um, at our at canyonsdistrict.org email addresses. My name's Hallie Kirk and I'm our elementary social studies specialist. Uh, Scott Lambert couldn't be here today, but he is our middle school social studies specialist that you're free to reach out to. And I'm Jody Ide, and I am the high school social studies specialist. All right, and thank you for listening and please uh, be sure to get your relicensure credit. Thank you.